Luca. Hello guys. And I was experimenting a little bit right here to try and make like a pizza salad. It's called, well, pizza salad in, in Swedish. Uh, but like a... Oh, that is cabbage. I'm pretty sure it's called cabbage in English. And I actually I made this little thing right here just to try out the flavor. And it was actually really, really good. Much better than normal one, I think. And the ingredients I used was well, obviously cabbage. Um, this is white wine vinegar, black pepper, um, extra virgin olive oil, xylitol. I guess you could use sugar, um, but. Uh, I don't use that. I'm on low carb and all that. And that was good. And salt. That's it. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure on the amounts that you need and all that. Because I didn't look it up. I just poured the shit in. And, and it's a good thing uh, that I don't have the stand with me, right? So I have to do this with one hand. But I just took some vinegar. Just throw a little. I mean, I have to put a decent amount at the moment. Uh, more than I put in here because obviously this is way more. Yeah. But it's better to start off with less because you could always add. Uh, so I would start off with less ing ingredients. Some black pepper, and I'll pr probably start off with just just cover the top of them, just to start off. You can always add more. I like and maybe two pinches of salt. And I'm gonna have to pause to uh, open up that thing. Okay. Probably because I added one teaspoon into that thing. So this one, I think I'm gonna start off with three. Oh. Two. And three. And then olive oil as well. Oh god, can't open it with one, one arm. Oh, there we go. Then you just pour that in. Start off with. And then you mix it. And I'm gonna have to pause this because I need both of my hands. And also, when you mix it, like take out there, there, and then push on it, do it like that. You want to be a little bit rough. Um, you don't need to be like because you want to squish them a little bit, you know, to bring out some of the juices from the cabbage itself. As well. Yeah, I'm going to continue doing this. Okay, I mix it around. And I can already tell, just by mixing this, as you could probably see in the bottom, that it's probably going to need more white wine vinegar. But the most important thing is to taste it. I mean, taste it to see, do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's more white, white wine vinegar. Like that. Maybe a little bit more pepper. 
I think the sweetness is pretty okay. Well, we can do this uh, while I mix it. Um, yeah. So we we'll have to wait and see how it is. I added, you know, some more white wine vinegar. The best thing when you're like cooking at home all that, especially something like this that doesn't need, you know, actual cooking, you can taste it as you go along. If you don't like something, well, add more of something else, you know. Like if you feel like, oh, it has a little bit too little of this. Add other things. Alright. Mm. That's good. It is a little bit less sweet than the first one I did. A decent amount of liquid, you want, like, if you do something like this, and then you tilt, try and do this, you see that there is some liquid right there. That is kind of like what you want. You don't want it to be overly liquidy, unless that is what you want, of course. Yeah, but you don't want it to be dry. So. I guess it all, this is also a good way to get some vinegar into your system, I guess. Yeah, I mean, now I use white wine vinegar because I think that the taste of the white wine vinegar would probably work best for this. And I mean, we have another slice of this cabbage. So, <coughs> who knows? Maybe tomorrow or whatever, I'll try and use apple cider vinegar and see how that works just a little bit just probably enough something like that with apple cider vinegar some other day to see well does the vinegar you use how big of a flavor difference does it make yeah but this is good